Good morning, friends. It's certainly good to be able to come back into your presence to share just a thought from the precious Word of God. Today, I want to bring to you a devotion that I have uh, titled, Believing in Spite of the Darkness. My friend, you know we live in a very dark world today, but yet uh, many times we live in a dark world because that's all we can see. We're constantly looking at things that are dark. But I want to talk to you about uh, overcoming darkness. In Acts chapter 7, we read these words. Uh, the Bible says, And they stoned Stephen as he was calling on God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Now you'll find that in verse 39. Stephen says, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And then he knelt down and he cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not charge them with this sin. And when he had said this, he fell asleep or he died. My friend, it was a dark time in the life of Stephen. He had been accused of doing things that were ungodly by worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ. And the religious system of that particular day was warring against him. Now, it's sad to say, but we live in a time when it would seem like uh, those same religionists live in our churches today. Those who are stooped in tradition and following the ways of man instead of following the ways of God. But that's just... Uh, just the way society is. That darkness continues to abide even in our modern churches today. But you know, darkness uh, cannot do but so much because the light has arrived. You see, darkness has uh, no power over the light. Darkness, in fact, is absence of power when the light arrives. Because darkness has no power over light, light always, always defeats the darkness. Now listen to me, although Christ died, uh, and it would seem like darkness won a great victory that day, you need to know and realize that, uh, I like to say it this way, he didn't stay dead, amen? He just didn't stay dead. So, Although Christ died, he came back. He came back to life on the third day, and he defeated darkness and death forever. Now listen to me. When Stephen asked God to forgive the sins of those who were stoning him to death, Stephen called down the light of God into the darkness that was taking away his life. To believe in spite of the darkness, no matter what kind of darkness that we face in life, my friend, we must have a clear understanding of the power play between light and darkness. You see, the darkness depends upon our being blind in the darkness as the darkness tries to exert its power over us while we are still in the darkness. But now listen, when Stephen died as a result of being stoned, one would think that the darkness had, had just won a great victory over Stephen's life. You and I know better. You see, in Christ, we know that Christ won out over Stephen's life because Stephen didn't really die. He only died in the fleshly body, not in the spirit. I think Paul said it this way willing rather to be absent from the body, to be present with the Lord. The psalmist said it this way, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his saints. Why? Because to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. You see, Stephen didn't lose a battle that day. Stephen won a great battle that day because Stephen moved into the realm of light where there is never any more darkness. Listen, in every battle that we face in this life, in every dark corner, as though, even though rather the, the darkness seems to engulf us and, and just to, to overwhelm and overcome us, 
in every battle we face with darkness, in all its forms, in all its ways of doing its best to hurt us, God help us today to see the truth. And listen to me, the truth is Christ. Jesus is the light. The truth is Christ. And in his light, no matter what, we are victors. The victory is ours. Walk in the light as he is in the light. And light will overcome darkness always. God, I pray today for that one who may be in the darkest of valleys. May they know that uh, even in the deepest of all dark valleys, that you are the light. And that if even the path is not to uh, brighten, but one step at a time, you will always be there to provide your light. Help those who are in darkness. Pick them up and move them out, I pray, in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you today to have a wonderful day in the Lord and walk in the light of Jesus Christ.